in the heart of the jungle, where towering pyramids break through the canopy, lies the untold saga of an indomitable spirit. This is the story of the Maya, a civilization that stood firm, where others fell against the relentless might of the Spanish conquistadors. Unlike the swift conquests of the Aztecs and the Incas, the Maya presented a different challenge to the Spanish invaders. But what was it about the Maya that enabled them to resist where mighty empires crumbled? 1517 to 1519, the Spanish made their first contacts with the Maya during expeditions led by Francisco Hernández de Córdoba and Juan de Grijalva along the Yucatán coast. These early encounters were primarily exploratory. Francisco de Montejo led a series of campaigns until 1546 to conquer the Yucatán Peninsula. These efforts met with strong resistance from various Maya groups. The city of Chichen Itza was abandoned around this time, possibly in response to the social upheaval caused by the Spanish incursions. The Maya civilization covered a vast area that included the Yucatán Peninsula, modern-day Guatemala, Belize, and parts of Honduras and El Salvador. This expansive territory featured diverse landscapes, from dense tropical rainforests and mountainous highlands to coastal plains. The challenging terrain, including thick jungles and rugged hills, provided natural fortifications that the Maya could use to their advantage. The varied geography also meant that the Spanish conquistadors had to navigate through unfamiliar and difficult terrain, where the Maya had developed survival and warfare tactics suited to each unique environment. The dense forests, in particular, allowed for guerrilla-style warfare, letting Maya warriors launch surprise attacks and then disappear back into the jungle, a tactic that was hard for the Spanish to counter with their conventional European military strategies. Unlike the centralized empires of the Aztecs and Incas, the Maya civilization was composed of numerous city-states, each with its own ruler, political system, and military forces. This decentralized political structure meant there was no single capital or ruler whose fall could lead to the collapse of the entire civilization. The city-states often engaged in alliances, rivalries, and warfare with one another, which fostered a culture of constant military preparedness and innovation in warfare tactics. When the Spanish arrived, there was no unified Maya front to oppose them. Instead, the conquistadors faced a series of independent and diverse city-states, each with its own strategies for defense and survival. This decentralization also meant that the Spanish couldn't employ their typical strategy of capturing a single leader or capital to gain control over an entire population. Even if one city-state fell, others continued to resist, and the Spanish had to conduct multiple prolonged campaigns to subjugate the region, which stretched out the process over centuries. This combination of challenging geography and decentralized political structure acted as the Maya's first line of defense against the Spanish conquest. The conquistadors, who were more accustomed to dealing with centralized states like the Aztecs and Incas, found it significantly more challenging to conquer a society where power was dispersed and resistance could arise from any corner of the vast, diverse landscape. The Siege of Nojpeten, 1697. The last Maya city to fall to the Spanish was Nojpeten, located on an island in Lake Peten Itza. The Itza Maya utilized the natural fortification of the lake to defend their city. The Spanish had to build boats to reach the island, which exemplifies how the Maya used their environment to create formidable defenses. The Caste War of Yucatan, 1847 to 1901. While this conflict occurred long after the initial Spanish conquest, it demonstrates the enduring spirit of resistance among the Maya people. The war was a significant uprising of the Maya population against the Mexican government and settlers, illustrating how the challenging terrain of the Yucatan Peninsula continued to serve as a strategic advantage for the Maya resistance. Early Contact and Alliances, Early 16th Century When the Spanish first arrived in the Yucatan Peninsula in the early 16th century, they encountered a fragmented landscape of competing Maya city-states. Recognizing the benefit of forging local alliances, the Spanish often pitted Maya groups against one another. For instance, the Spanish allied with certain Maya city-states against others, exploiting pre-existing rivalries. 
This tactic was evident in the campaign against the Cocomes of Sotuta, where the Spanish allied with the Xiu family of Mani, leading to the defeat of the Cocomes in 1541. The Itza Maya and Spanish Diplomacy, late 17th century. The Itza Maya, residing in the Peten region, engaged in protracted negotiations and diplomacy with the Spanish. For decades, they maintained their independence through a combination of military resistance and diplomatic engagements. They negotiated with Spanish missionaries and officials, sometimes allowing them to settle temporarily, only to later reaffirm their autonomy, showcasing a nuanced approach to dealing with the Spanish threat. Religious Syncretism The Maya adeptly blended their traditional religious practices with Christianity a strategy that allowed them to preserve their cultural identity while outwardly conforming to Spanish demands. This syncretism is evident in the survival of traditional deities and rituals, which were often masked under Christian veneers. The Maya continued to secretly practice their traditional rites, speak their languages, and maintain their social structures, ensuring the survival of their cultural heritage despite Spanish efforts to eradicate it. Maya Literature and Codices Despite the Spanish efforts to destroy Maya codices and literature, the Maya managed to preserve some of their writings, which are invaluable resources for understanding their history, culture, and resistance. The survival of the Popol Vuh, a sacred Maya text recounting the mythology and history of the Quiche people, is a testament to the Maya's determination to preserve their knowledge and identity. The prolonged conflict of the Caste War of Yucatan, 1847 to 1901, underscores the Maya's enduring resistance and desire to reclaim their autonomy. The war was partly fueled by the Maya's grievances over oppressive labor practices and racial discrimination. The Maya established a breakaway state, Chan Santa Cruz, which maintained independence for over 50 years showcasing their continued struggle for self-determination and cultural preservation. In summary, the Maya's resistance against Spanish conquest was a dynamic interplay of military strategies, alliances, and deep-rooted efforts to preserve their cultural identity. Through diplomatic engagement, cultural resilience, and strategic alliances, the Maya navigated the turbulent waters of colonization leaving behind a legacy of resistance that underscores their enduring spirit and complexity as a civilization. Exploiting Existing Rivalries The Spanish were quick to capitalize on the pre-existing tensions and rivalries among the Maya city-states. By allying with certain Maya groups, the Spanish could leverage these internal conflicts to their advantage, turning Maya against Maya. For instance, a Maya group might ally with the Spanish to gain a military advantage over a neighboring rival city-state, expecting to settle old scores or expand their territory. During the Spanish conquest of the Yucatan Peninsula, 1527 to 1546, the conquistadors, led by Francisco de Montejo and his son, formed alliances with certain Maya groups to fight against others. The Montejos exploited the divisions among the Maya using their support to gradually extend Spanish control over the region. These alliances were often temporary and shifted as the political landscape changed, with former allies becoming enemies and vice versa. Political and Survival Strategies The decision to ally with the Spanish was often a calculated move by Maya leaders, aimed at preserving their power and ensuring the survival of their people. These alliances were not necessarily an indication of loyalty to the Spanish, but a pragmatic approach to the new power dynamics introduced by European colonization. Maya leaders had to navigate a delicate balance between cooperation and resistance to maintain their autonomy and protect their interests. Another notable example is the alliance between the Spanish and the Xiu family, one of the most powerful Maya groups in the western Yucatan. The Xu saw an opportunity to ally with the Spanish to defeat their longtime rivals in Mayapan. With the help of the Xu, the Spanish managed to establish a foothold in the region, demonstrating how alliances with the Maya were crucial to their conquest strategy. 
The Maya civilization, even during the tumultuous period of Spanish conquest and colonization, continued to nurture and advance their rich cultural heritage, particularly in mathematics, astronomy, and the arts. This persistence is a vivid demonstration of their resilience and dedication to preserving their way of life amid external pressures and changes. The Maya developed a sophisticated numerical system that included the concept of zero, a remarkable mathematical achievement not present in many contemporary cultures. They used a vigesimal, base 20 system, which allowed them to perform complex calculations. This mathematical prowess was crucial for various aspects of Maya life, including trade, architecture, and particularly their calendrical systems. Even under Spanish rule, the Maya continued to use and transmit this knowledge, ensuring its survival across generations. Maya astronomy was equally advanced. They meticulously observed celestial bodies, noting the movements of the sun, moon, planets, and stars. This knowledge was integral to their calendrical systems, such as the Tzolkin, a 260-day calendar, and the Hab, a 365-day solar calendar, which were used in conjunction to create the calendar round, a 52-year cycle. They could predict solar eclipses and had a deep understanding of the Venus cycle, which they believed was associated with war and conflict. In the realm of arts, the Maya showcased remarkable resilience. Their art was deeply intertwined with their religious beliefs and social structures, evident in their elaborate stelae, murals, pottery, and textiles. Maya artists continued to produce works that adhered to traditional themes and styles, even when under Spanish rule. In some cases, Maya art began to reflect the new realities of their world, incorporating elements from Christian iconography while still retaining distinctly Maya characteristics. Despite the Spanish efforts to obliterate Maya culture, the Maya found ways to preserve their knowledge. They continued to pass down their scientific, mathematical, and astronomical insights, along with their historical narratives and mythologies through oral traditions and by integrating them into the Christian texts and teachings imposed by the Spanish. The survival and continued development of these aspects of Maya culture, even in the face of colonization, underscore their resilience and determination to uphold their intellectual and artistic legacy. This centuries-long saga of resistance, adaptation, and survival left a lasting legacy, ensuring that Maya culture, despite the immense pressures it faced, continued to thrive. Today, the descendants of the Maya still celebrate their heritage, speak their languages, and practice their traditions, a testament to the success of their ancestors' determined efforts to protect their civilization's heart and soul. While the Aztec and Inca empires have their own tales of bravery and resistance, the Maya stand out for their prolonged and effective defense of their territory, a clear demonstration of their exceptional resilience and strategic wisdom. If you've been inspired by the story of the Maya and their centuries-long struggle against conquest, their ingenuity in safeguarding their culture, and their legacy that continues to echo through history, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us bring more incredible stories from history to light. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time. Like the Maya, may you stand resilient against the tides of challenge, preserving the essence of what matters most to you. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep the flame of curiosity alive.